Hello students, Miss Swanson here, and today we're going to learn all about lenses. Now this picture is a great example of lenses because it actually shows two types of lenses, a contact lens and the lens in the eyeball, which is a lens very similar to the ones we'll talk about at the start of the lesson today. So we have two learning goals for today, to describe the properties of lenses and to provide and identify examples of lenses. So we'll start off with the converging lenses. Converging lenses are skinny on the top and bottom and they bow out at, around the middle. So they're skinny at the top, wide in the middle, and then skinny at the bottom again. So this is an example of a converging lens. Going straight through the lens, we have the normal. And going perpendicular to the normal, we have what we call the principal axis. Principal axis and the normal meet at 90 degrees, so they're perpendicular to each other. And where they meet is called the optical center, and we give that the symbol O. Another point along the principal axis is the focus, and this is where the rays converge as they go through the converging lens. So converge means where they meet. So the focus is given the symbol F. On the other side, there's something called F prime. F prime is the same distance from the optical center to the focus, just on the other side of the lens. We then have a point called 2F. This is just double the distance of the focus to the optical center. This just gives us another opportunity to describe locations of objects and images along the, the um, principal axis. And then we also have 2F prime on the other side of the lens, uh, the same side as the F prime, just a little bit further along, twice the distance from the optical center to F prime. So what types of lenses are converging lenses? Well, magnifying glasses are converging lenses, your eyeball is a converging lens, and some eyeglasses, depending on what the disorder of your eye happens to be, those can also be converging lenses. Let's take a look at the diverging lenses now. These ones are wide at the top and bottom and they curve inwards in the middle. So wide at the top, skinny in the middle, wide at the bottom. So here's an example of a diverging lens and it has a, um, a normal going through top to bottom. If we draw a line perpendicular to that, so at right angles, we have the principal axis. In the center where the principal axis and the normal meet is the optical center O. We also have the focus, F. Now if you'll notice, the focus is on the different side of the lens compared to what we saw with the converging lens. In the case of a diverging lens, the, the uh, definition of the focus is where the, lens, or where the light rays appear to come from as they diverge through the lens. So with the converging lenses, we actually see the rays all converge at F. With a diverging lens, all of the rays get further apart. So if they're getting further apart, if you backtrack those rays, it would look as if they came from F. We also have an F prime on the opposite side of the lens. It's the same distance from the optical center as is F. And then we have 2F, double the distance from the optical center to F, and 2F prime, double the distance from the optical center to F prime. So what about types of diverging lenses? Well, a camera lens is diverging, and also some eyeglasses, depending on the disorder of the eye, can also be diverging lenses. So our learning goals for today, can you describe the properties of lenses, and can you provide and identify examples of lenses? If you can do this, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video, and if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. Alright, that's all for now. Bye-bye!